Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Ubuntu Studio, which is often the one distribution that comes out every six months that a lot of the reviewers on YouTube uh, miss. A lot of the um, focus is uh, on Kubuntu and Xubuntu as well as Lubuntu, but um, oftentimes we all forget about the workhorse distribution of the bunch. And that is Ubuntu Studio, which is geared towards creative professionals trying to uh, move away from uh, closed source software and uh, into the open source world of uh, audio uh, production, graphic design, photography, video publication, and publishing. Now, um, I'm not an audio professional. I'm a graphic designer by trade, specifically uh, uh, web design. So a lot of these tools I don't actually use. Um, on occasion I've used them to convert video formats and do some very minor edits and exports, but uh, with the kind of work I use it's mainly um, coding in a uh, text editor and uh, some image editing as well as uh, some work in Inkscape. But enough about me. The reason I choose this distribution is mostly because of the software that comes pre-installed. Now it is a large download. We're talking uh, 2.7 gigabytes. So in order to get this uh, distribution up and running into your system, you're going to need a 4 gigabyte uh, stick, a USB stick or a DVD to get it onto your system. Dark Tables, a wonderful program replacement for Adobe Bridge. And uh, it, it does have some Photoshop uh, features to it as well. Kazam is wonderful. I actually, I think I might have added this uh, separately. This uh, is great for screen recording, and I'm recording this video using that right now. What I really enjoy about this distribution is how rock solid it is. It's very un, very infrequently do I experience any unexpected crashes. I could go in and uh, open up a bunch of applications and not really worry about slowing things down. The only thing that seems to take a while to boot up is Inkscape and maybe uh, um, GIMP, but you know this is the uh, major advantage of Linux and the XFC desktop environment is that it makes uh, good use of your system resources. So even though I have all this stuff running, you can see that I'm capturing this video and still only using about one gigabyte of my system resources. It's actually pretty uh, pretty amazing. So that frees up a lot of uh, resources for you to actually get some work done. <laughs> and um, use it in um, your creative in, uh, endeavors. So go ahead and give it a shot. UbuntuStudio.org is the website. And uh, download this. Particularly if you're new to Linux, um, I would suggest uh, trying out Ubuntu first. And if you really want to get an idea for what kind of new software is, uh, what software is available under the uh, Linux desktop environment, uh, Linux, uh, Ubuntu Studio is a great place to start since it focuses more on uh, software and applications and less on pretty effects and compiz, compiz effects like some of the other distributions out there. And uh, go ahead and uh, leave comments in this video and tell me what you think. Uh, I've been using Ubuntu Studio now for about three, four years off and on. I keep bouncing back and forth from... from uh, Debian-based distributions as well as Arch-based distributions, but the one 
distribution that I always have running on one of my computers and generally my laptop because it's it's my workhorse device is uh, Ubuntu Studio. It's an amazing distribution with a ton of software and and it's solid. And because it's F XFCE, it's very easy to uh, customize the desktop environment. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.